let's open this up. Oh, wow. Awesome. Congratulations, you have received your power skater. First, I'd like to identify the components of the power skater. This is the mounting plate. Left track, right track, left truck, right truck. And these are the resistance bands. All right, so now that we have identified all of the components, let's put it together. We're going to start by taking our left truck and attaching it to the left track. As you attach it, be sure that the plunger remains on the inside of the track. Next, we will attach the right truck to the right track. Again, the plunger must remain on the inside of the track. So next, we will connect the track to the mounting plate using the track connector. Now, Let's fasten it using the Allen wrench. Next, we will attach the right track to the mounting plate. And fasten it using the Allen wrench. Now that our power skater is assembled, we can attach the appropriate bands. Once you have identified the appropriate resistance band, let's learn how to attach it. You will start by taking the clip and attaching it underneath the truck. From there, create a loop and then feed that loop underneath the truck. Being sure when you hook it to the pulley, it goes inside out so that the band remains on the outside of the track. Next, you will hook the second clip to the track bolt and then create another loop which will go around the back pulley. Again, being sure that the band remains on the outside of the track. We will repeat these steps on the right side as well. Taking your clip and hooking it underneath the truck, creating a loop and feeding it underneath, attaching around the pulley, taking the second clip and hooking it to the track bolt, and creating another loop to attach to the second back pulley. Now our power skater is completely assembled and ready for use. Let's review the mechanics of the hooking mechanism. When you step up onto the power skater, you can push off of whichever truck you wish. Let's start with the right side. When I push off of the right side, the left side will hook and lock into place. When I return the right side to the mounting plate, it will then hook 
and release the left side. As you can see here, now the right side is locked into place. And that is how the hooking mechanism works.